Meet the jumping spider. If you've ever been outside in the garden, on your porch, or even just sitting near a sunny window, you might have noticed a tiny creature staring right back at you. No, it's not your imagination. It's a jumping spider. These small arachnids are unlike most spiders you know. They don't wait in webs for their food to come to them. Instead, they actively hunt their prey, using incredible eyesight and lightning-fast reflexes to pounce on their target. Their movements are quick, confident, and surprisingly precise. And with their big, front-facing eyes, they almost seem to have a personality of their own. Jumping spiders are a fascinating combination of cute and deadly, harmless to us, but terrifying to the insects they hunt. In this video, we're going to explore exactly what makes these little predators so unique and why they're some of the most impressive hunters in the animal kingdom. Big eyes, small body. The first thing you notice about a jumping spider is its face. Four big eyes on the front, with the two largest sitting like shiny black beads, and four more smaller eyes wrapping around the sides of its head. This unique eye arrangement is what gives them their curious look. Their bodies are usually small, anywhere from one-eighth of an inch to about three-fourths of an inch, but they're compact, strong, and built for action. Their short, powerful legs are perfect for quick bursts of movement and massive leaps. If you look closely, you might also notice their bodies are often covered in tiny hairs, which help them sense vibrations and changes in the air. Many species also have beautiful markings, metallic greens, bright oranges, or deep blues, which you might catch when the light hits them just right. They're like tiny, living jewels that just happen to be expert hunters. Tiny Predators Most spiders spin webs, sit back, and wait for something to get stuck. But jumping spiders? They take the fight directly to their prey. Their hunting method is a mix of stealth, patience, and explosive action. First, they quietly observe from a distance, locking their target in sight. Then they slowly creep forward, staying low and moving only when the insect isn't looking. Once they're in the perfect position, they coil their back legs and, in a fraction of a second, launch themselves toward their victim. The attack is so fast that even flies, with their incredible reaction time, often have no chance to escape. Once the prey is caught, the spider delivers a quick bite of venom, paralyzing it instantly. The whole process can take less than a second, but it's the result of careful planning and precise movement. The science of the jump. So, how can something so small leap so far? The secret lies in both their muscles and the way their bodies move fluids. Jumping spiders use hydraulic pressure to extend their legs with incredible force. Before a jump, they contract special muscles that increase the fluid pressure in their limbs, turning them into powerful spring-loaded levers. This gives them explosive takeoff speed and control over their landing. But there's more. They also use silk as a safety line. Before leaping, they attach a thin strand of silk to the surface they're standing on. If the jump goes wrong or they miss their target, they can use the silk line to climb back to safety. It's like a built-in bungee cord that keeps them from falling into danger. Where they live. Jumping spiders are incredibly adaptable and can be found on almost every continent except Antarctica. In the United States alone, there are over 300 known species, each with its own preferred habitat. Some live high in the trees, blending in with leaves and bark, while others make their homes in gardens, fields, and even urban areas. You might spot them on a sunny wall, a fence post, or perched on a flower waiting for an unsuspecting insect to come by. Because they're diurnal, meaning they're active during the day, you're most likely to see them in the bright sunlight, hopping from surface to surface as they search for food. No matter where you find them, jumping spiders are always on the move, exploring their surroundings with curiosity and precision. What they eat, Jumping spiders are carnivorous, and their diet is made up almost entirely of other small invertebrates. Flies, mosquitoes, moths, crickets, and even other spiders are all on the menu. They're opportunistic hunters, meaning they'll eat whatever prey is available, as long as they can overpower it. Their hunting style makes them excellent natural pest controllers, especially in gardens. In fact, many gardeners consider them allies, because they help keep harmful insects in check without the need for pesticides. Some species have even been observed hunting prey much larger than themselves. 
a sign of just how confident and capable these little predators are. Vision like no other spider. One of the most fascinating things about jumping spiders is their vision. They don't just have a lot of eyes. They have some of the sharpest eyesight in the arachnid world. The two largest eyes at the front give them high-resolution binocular vision, which is rare for spiders. This lets them judge distances accurately, making their jumps precise and deadly. The smaller eyes on the sides help them detect movement and watch for predators. They can see in almost every direction at once, which means nothing in their environment goes unnoticed. Scientists have even discovered that jumping spiders can see in color, including ultraviolet light, giving them a completely different view of the world compared to humans. Colors and patterns. Not all jumping spiders look alike. Some are brown or gray, perfectly camouflaged against tree bark or soil. Others are brightly colored with shimmering metallic fangs called chelicerae. Species like the peacock spider in Australia display incredible patterns and colors, waving their legs and abdomen in elaborate dances to attract mates. While most North American species are more subtle in color, they often have unique markings that help identify them. These colors aren't just for beauty, they can also be used for communication, camouflage, or even to warn off predators. For all their hunting skill and lightning-fast movements, jumping spiders are completely harmless to humans. Their venom is designed for small insects, not people, and even in the rare case that one does bite, the effect is usually no worse than a mild mosquito bite. But honestly, they're far more interested in watching you than hurting you. One of the most charming things about jumping spiders is how curious they seem. If you move near one, it might actually turn its head to follow you with those large front eyes, almost like it's trying to figure out what you are. Unlike most spiders, which scurry away at the first sign of movement, jumping spiders often stand their ground and observe. Some even take small steps toward you, as if they're just as fascinated by you as you are by them. Photographers love this behavior because it allows for close-up shots without the spider running away in fear. Many arachnid enthusiasts keep them as pets, housing them in small enclosures with plants, sticks, and plenty of space to explore. Watching a jumping spider hunt in a controlled environment is like having a front row seat to nature's tiniest action movie. Owners often say that their spiders develop unique personalities, some are bold and adventurous, while others are shy and cautious. And here's the best part. If you see one in your house, you don't need to panic. They're not a threat, and in fact, they might be doing you a favor by quietly reducing the population of flies, gnats, or other small pests. Many people choose to simply let them stay or gently relocate them outside, knowing they're one of the few spiders you can safely admire up close. Why they're special. Jumping spiders are a perfect example of how small creatures can have big abilities. With their exceptional vision, powerful jumps, and clever hunting strategies, they're among the most skilled predators in the insect world. They're fearless explorers, curious observers, and efficient pest controllers, all packed into a tiny body that could fit on your fingertip. So next time you see a jumping spider in your home or garden, remember, you're looking at one of nature's most remarkable little hunters. Before we wrap things up, here are a few things you probably didn't know about jumping spiders. They can plan ahead. Some species have been observed figuring out complex routes to catch prey, even taking paths that temporarily move them away from their target before circling back for the perfect strike. They can recognize shapes and patterns. Scientists believe they can remember visual cues and possibly even tell living things from non-living objects. They moonwalk when courting. Males of certain species perform dance moves that include sidesteps, leg waves, and even tiny backward shuffles to impress females. Some can mimic ants. This disguise helps them avoid predators and sneak up on prey. They can see in ultraviolet light. This lets them detect patterns on flowers or on other spiders that are invisible to us. So, the next time you spot a tiny spider hopping across a wall or a plant, take a closer look. You might be looking at one of nature's smartest, most athletic, and most fascinating hunters. Jumping spiders aren't just another bug in the backyard. They're living proof that incredible things often come in the smallest packages. If you enjoyed learning about this amazing little predator, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more wildlife stories, 
and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the animal world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.